point. I'm Catherine and today I'm in bed with my favorite books of the month of October and I'm just not going to say the same things I've said in all my other wrap ups about falling behind and catching up because let's just watch this video whenever it happens to come your way and those books never go bad. These are just nice books I've read no matter when, no matter when you watch the video. Um, I've read them in October, six of them, and I'm only going to tell you about three of them. So the first one is Kapitalismus und Hautkrankheiten. I just uh, did a take where I said Hauptkrankheiten and in German the difference would be like skin disease or a main disease. So that was quite a funny um, misspelling. So Kapitalismus und Hautkrankheiten by Jasmin Ramnam. I've read this for the Summer's Tale Festival because I wanted to do an interview with Jasmin who then fell sick and couldn't come. But I read the novels anyway. In my last wrap up you will see me talking about another one of her novels. And um, this one, I just love the title which reads like Capitalism and Skin Diseases. I mean, fantastic title. Which turns out to be the title of a novel that is being written in the novel. Um, or not a novel, but like a book that's written in the novel. And it's about a very dysfunctional family and the family secret. And I liked it okay. I gave it three out of five stars. Then I've listened to His Majesty's, His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik because I loved her novel Uprooted and I liked the first part. Okay, I think I gave it three out of five stars. Um, it's about this dragon and his keeper and how they evolved together. But there was just always war crap and always war crap and always war crap. And that got on my nerves, I think the latest in the third part. And I think I stopped listening to it in the fourth part. I would have been interested in the development of the dragon of Tamarare. Um, but yeah, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't want to anymore. I think it's a good series if you're into dragon stories and don't have a problem with a lot of war scenes and a lot of war history. But, it just wasn't that much for me. And the last one I want to talk about is Couchsurfing in Russland by Stefan Ort. I've met him at the Summer's Tale Festival. We did an interview, we did a little fun book game with Nele Polacek, another German author who read at the Summer's Tale Festival. I'm going to link the interview and the book thingy in the corner and Couchsurfing in Russland, which is actually coming out or already has come out in English. So this is one of the German books I'm telling you about that you actually can read in English or soon will be able to read in English. It's about Stefan, who's a journalist and he's traveling through Russland via just Couchsurfing at random or not quite random people's places. And he's talking about his experiences with those people and about the things he sees and he writes funny and it's totally interesting and super super fun read with some nice pictures of him in those places that i'm not going to show you you just have to buy it for yourself and i gave it four out of five stars that was fast this is it for my october wrap up I'm going to film my November wrap up just now so you can be expecting some more wrap up videos soon and until then don't forget support your local book dealer. Hi, I'm in bed with Wakey Wakey. Today as we just talked um, about you at the Reaper Barn Festival, today yes. we are talking about a book. I love that. It's Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. 